Good evening. Foreigners have again been targeted in Iraq, five of them killed in the latest Baghdad bombing. Doctors who treated victims of the Bali atrocity are among more than 700 Australians named in the Queen's birthday honours list. I didn't expect to get anything like this. It's, it just happened. We, we were there at the time and we just, just did it. Steve Irwin denies any wrongdoing in his close encounter with Antarctic wildlife. Labor's star recruit Peter Garrett has mixed with Labor luminaries at the races. More Sydney streets are to be gated to cut prostitution and crime. Melbourne scores a nine-point win over Collingwood. And the Bureau of Statistics confirms it. Soccer is Australia's number one participant sport. All the details coming up in Nightline. You'd have to be nuts. We're probably travelling at about 100 kilometres per hour. Cliff diving in the Kimberley Ranges. <laughs> Plus, how to make Australia's rich list. Tips from those who've cracked it. You can get to the top when Nissan presents a current affair. <coughs> this program is proudly brought to you by the Performance Pack. National 9 News, this is Nightline with Hugh Remington. Wildlife wildman Steve Irwin on thin ice over his latest adventure. Another deadly day in Iraq as a car bomb explodes in Baghdad. And Queen's birthday honours for hundreds of Australians. Good evening, also in the news tonight, all the action from today's Melbourne-Collingwood clash at the MCG. But first, crocodile hunter Steve Irwin has come up with a novel defence for the latest controversy that's engulfed him. He has blamed his celebrity status for a potential fine or even jail term for allegedly harassing wildlife in Antarctica. If any publicity is good publicity, Steve Irwin's riding the perfect wave. Not for the first time in hot water, investigated for these Antarctic... Five, six seconds. Next on Nightline, we'll have the national weather detail. <laughs> 